Hi, I'm Lori and I'm here to share with you my passion for nutritious food and sustainable living. We'll see if these foods meet my dietitian's stamp of approval and why these foods are not only good for you, but also good for our Earth. We're in Langley at Crossberry Farms taking part in the Feast of Fields fundraiser, an annual event that brings together city folk and farm folk to celebrate the season's beautiful bounty. We've got Okanagan watermelon with albator tuna that we've crusted with slick spice, a little bit of yuzu, uh, cucumber, and watermelon burls. Tuna and watermelon, amazing. We have a shram lemonade with shram vodka made from organic Pemberton potatoes, and then we have fresh lemons, limes, lots of fresh kraus blackberries, and then a ton of ice. Today I have a tequila cured sockeye salmon last of the season. Uh, we have a tsukamono of local heirloom vegetables and we're from Go Fish. We got a bunch of tequila to put on top of it at the end as well. All right, this is from Go Fish. What do you think? On a hot day like this, it's pretty nice, especially if you're into the, the 100 mile diet type idea. So I know that you're vegetarian. Are you having any trouble finding vegetarian eats here today? No trouble at all. We've only covered just a small part of the property, but there's plenty to eat, especially if you have a sweet tooth. So you get to cover all the meat, she gets to cover all the vegetables, and you uh, both get to drink all the wine. We're a killer yeah. team. Have you been to Feast of Fields before? I have. Um, I missed the last two or three, but um, it is quite remarkable. and unique as you can tell. It's probably the best true celebration of local food. I'm making peanut butter and jelly pizzas right now. Isn't that fun? So what do you think of the pizza? It's great. Would you ever thought that you could make peanut butter and jelly taste that good? I would have never thought that. If I could bring this to my lunch every day, I would. <laughs> came to try another glass of this because it's fantastic. It tastes like chocolate and on a sunny day, it's just, it's awesome. It's uh, called Valley Trail Chestnut Ale. We use roasted chestnuts and uh, caramel malt, so it's nice and creamy, and it's got a little bit of caramel, um, some smoky attributes, and some vanilla. Cheers. We caught up with Krausberry Farm owners, Elf and Sandy Kraus, and asked them how they were chosen to host this year's Feast of Field event. Well, we've been to a number of these Feast of Fields, and then we were able to last year go to Bremner's, and we put our name in and said, hey, we think we have an area where we could do a, an event like this and uh, we put that forward and they accepted it and that was a great move. So I know they sold out at a thousand tickets and uh, a couple hundred volunteers so there's a lot of people here today and uh, they seem to really be enjoying it. I know there is some conversations always about GMO and what's involved. As far as I know there's no fresh corn that is sold that is GMO. I know 100% ours isn't. It's only in corn and soya bean in the commercial sense of, of large industry where they use it. On local fresh farms, it's not, not there. Not only is Krausberry Farms hosting today's event, they have a store whose smell will make your mouth water before you even walk through the door. Their bakery makes bread daily right from scratch, and you can pick up their homemade jams, jellies, and fillings made right from their own berry patch. For Shaw TV, I'm Lori, and this has been Good For You and Good For Our Earth. Farmfolkcityfolk.ca, Good For You, Good For Our Earth, has been brought to you by Farmfolk City Folk.